But I think, I think, to give you a good balance for more challenge, eight is, I think, pretty good. So you, you could you could feel how it's like like having like exams day by day. Yeah. So eight will be our finals, but the week before, like thirty one and June first. I can add some no notes for you for more um, review and exercise. Okay. So uh, between now and next week, we can, we will finish the chapter fifteen, okay, around, okay. and then next two weeks will be review, okay. review and exercise, okay. and then the supposed. Do you want seven or eight? The for the final. Eight? You want to early in the morning? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Afternoon, right? Okay. Okay, okay. So eight, okay, eight of June, like this hour. Okay. Okay. So okay. Okay. I will also remind you in the Moodle that we are going to have our finals on eight. Okay. Because I think some students not yet here. So they will uh, be confused, but I think uh, I think that will be good experience. Okay, sometimes you need to have a good experience, especially how to manage your life better. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let me write here, uh, maybe here. So, <laughs> so final exam, chapter 12, 13, 14, 15. This 15. Perhaps just focus on one, two, three, and one more is, I forgot, uh, I think nine, nine or eight. But that will be related, that will be related okay. from, from this, all these sections. Okay. I will update this notes. Okay. okay, I think we can start our lecture okay, so we can continue. Uh, at least to to have some review on what we have done uh, yesterday. So let, let me give you, this is supposed to have a question here. Let me write first. So evaluate. Okay, just a simple review that whenever you see uh, evaluation for uh, multiple integral, for example, this is a double integral like this, which alludes you to that whatever it is in, in this function, okay, what we are focused is on our area, which is the bounded area of D, okay, this part or this part. Okay. So that is first thing. Okay. So you need to focus on on the area. So no matter how the function of two variables inside here, we not really care that much, as long as we know the part of this area. So the area, remember, the area we relate to what we are going to put in our integrals here. Okay? And uh, depends on what curve we have, we could make it into um, function of x or function of y. It depends on situations. Okay? Sometimes maybe you prefer the left part here, or sometimes you prefer this one. For me personally, I prefer the, the right one, because I would like to avoid any square root. Okay? Because that will be, I think, um, over complex your 
process. But sometimes if you feel that this is probably your way, I think you could try this one. So let, let, let's start to, to see uh, how it goes. Okay. So if, if we take the right one okay, as our choice, of course, if the graph or the curve is not given, then you need to draw first. Okay. So you need to draw this part. Okay. You need to draw the x minus 1 and then this y squared to x plus 6. So this is a parabola which uh, curvy in y. So it's going to be like that. So we could write first from here. Let, let's write the question first. That is the question. And then we can input. So since we are going to to take the uh, the function of y, so we are going to see that this part here is going to be x1, x2, right? And this will be y and uh, y2, y1 and y2, which means that we are going to see a constant in y. So we will write this is negative 2 and 4, right? Okay. And then the inside of integral, that would be the, um, the function of y. So half of y squared minus 3, and this would be y plus 1. Okay. And then write down the questions, and then the x, the y. Okay, remember that when we are taking this double integral, we start from the middle part. So I think we can move here to write down um, solutions. So we integrate with respect to x. So we are going to take half x squared y. Okay? And then we evaluate on certain uh, endpoints here. And we still need to integrate the last one, the dy. Okay. So there will be some calculation process here that you need to be careful of. So we need to take this uh, two endpoints into the x. I will uh, factor out constant to simplify the process. So I think um, the more you um, see calculus, and if you're familiar with some questions in calculus, like a typical questions, the more you read the question, the more you try to solve the answers. I think um, aside from understanding the subject, when you try to process and simplify the process, uh, that will be the part when you um, when you learn better. So you are, you will learn how to algebraically solve the problem. So algebra will be very very important. Because all the process, aside from the understanding, is to to know how the algebra is. Um, okay, so half x squared uh, x squared will be. Let me put this uh, y plus one first. Right? Y plus one squared. Uh, I think we can write, and then take y, and then let's make a bracket here. So this will be only x squared, and this will be how y squared minus 3 squared, okay, and then dy. So let's solve first this calculation. And my tips, suggestions, sometimes I, I see in your um, answers for some problems, when you get like complicated, supposed complicated process. Sometimes you feel like um, intimidated and then you are, um, I think, lost control, like what should be done. Okay. But for me, as long as you are keeping on the right track, even though it's not really, perhaps you, you are taking it slowly, it's, it's, it's better than uh, if you are uh, Taking it like nervous in, in a nervous way, like if you shock and then perhaps you are not able to think, then it, I think not a good way to solve math because math needs to to have a consistent. Even though it's slow, that's okay. okay? So let's let's look at this and try to solve slowly. So we take this and this first, take the square, 
and see what's happened. So this will be y squared plus 2y plus 1 and minus. This will be, let me put bracket here to, to help um, our calculation. So 1 fourth y fourth minus. Uh, 3y squared plus 9, right? And then all this will be multiplied with y. So let's solve first inside. Let me change the color to help easier to navigate. So y squared is 4y squared plus 2y minus 8 minus 1 over 4 okay. and adding y then it will be 4y cubed plus 2y squared okay so half let me write the complete uh, equation here 1 over 4 y 5 plus 4y cubed plus 2y squared minus 8y and the dy. Okay, I think we can just integrate. Uh, slowly we integrate 5, then it's with 120y6. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's supposed to be 124. Plus y4 plus 2 over 3y cubed minus um, 8 or 4 so y squared and then plug in negative 2 and 4 okay. now in your answer sheet this is what I would like to see okay the process the end of the process you could use calculators okay. you could use calculators just to plug in this this part or even if you are having at least until here you could try just to use calculator I think this is still okay, okay? because this is just a like direct Computation, right? It's direct computation. So it's still okay if you're using calculator. And you can use calculator in your finals. So you can bring at least to solve this uh, computation at the end. Okay. And then you can just compute, type in your calculator, and then it will be your uh, answers. Okay. What's the difference between the. This two? You mean this one here? This two? No, no. I mean, what's the difference between just uh, the function 2 to minus the function 1 and the this one? You mean this part here? Mm. Oh, okay. It's two point two point two. But the difference is in calculus 1 that is directly to be finding the area. Now, the area is our uh, endpoint in integration. Actually, they are going to be the same because, but the difference here is this is the volume. And we are integrating to the, the total volume. But the way we see which one on the top and which one on the bottom is similar to calculus one. So I, I should know for which one is the top and the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you see the left one here, we could still try forcing our way to find um, the integral, but the problem is, I think, this one here, okay, this point here. This is uh, the problem. Because if you want to make it into um, um, uh, the, the integrations, then we, this is going to be become two area, right? Becomes two area. So we need to have two double integral. So the first will be, so we write here, um, that's a question. So the first is from negative three, the x, until negative one. So you can write negative uh, three, sorry, negative three to negative one. And then we have this um, y uh, function of x, sorry. So negative 2x plus 6, and this would be 2x plus 6 right there. And then x, y, 
dy dx. Okay. And then that, that's still in one area, right? Plus the second area. Plus the second area is, is from negative 1 to 5. So negative 1 to 5. And then we are going to in, input the line on the bottom. So x minus 1 and square root to x plus 6. And this will be x, y, dy, dx. Which, of course, this is going to be really trouble. Okay. So you need to... Um, Input later, you need to input the square root, right? And then I uh, believe it's possible, but I don't think this will help in any way for the result. Okay. I think it just goes to the right method. So uh, choosing which method that is going to be in your solution is, um, I think, one one step closer to to solve the uh, the problems. I think. Let me check. You mean the number? Uh, this is supposed to be given you 36. <laughs> Will you check your calculator? Oh, you already checked? Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, you can trust your calculators. Your, remember, any calculators, AI, anything, they are just tools. Okay? How you trigger, how you input, like, prompts, that will be the key. Okay, another question that I would like to uh, discuss before we go to uh, the next step is this question here. We have this, uh, we call this shape as a tetrahedron. It has four sides. Okay. So I suppose that fine find the volume. of the tetrahedron. So all the planes are x plus 2y plus c. That is, uh, so is equal to. And x equal to y. Uh, what else? x equal 0. And z equal 0. So first we might find the intersections. We need to find the intersections to get the point. This um, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, half, 0. And how to get the intersections? Uh, we simply just take mix and match within these planes okay, and then find um, the points where, where is the intersection. So for example, in xy plane, we can see that the x plus 2y plus z equals 0 intersect the intersect in or using the z equals 0. So we could take, oh, it's not this 0, this is 2. So we could take that x plus 2y equal 2. Okay which is that is on this part here, right? x plus 2y equal 2. And then we could see that, um, we could imagine that the surface, let's say we take the surface as this surface here, and we can rewrite this surface as z2 minus x minus 2y, okay? And we could imagine z as a function of two variables x, y. Okay, we could imagine z as a function of x, y. So we are going to focus the projection, that is this one, the triangle on the bottom, as our area. Okay. So we could take that, and then, let me write here, so just to give you a, So that will be the area, okay? So let me write here is one, 0, 1, and this will be 1 and half. This is x equal to y or y equal half x. Okay. 
and this will be x plus 2y equal to or uh, y is negative half x plus 1. So I think we can take y as a constant and perhaps function of x as the or perhaps we could take x as a constant also if for example we take here x and then this y y2 minus y1 right so we could take the volume and take the surface is z so z using this one here so 2 minus x minus 2y and then the a okay so this this type of question is give you all you need in uh, in the volume okay, to, to draw the volume but this function you need to find from the volume here and I think it's obvious that this could be the the surface the you know, surface uh, function and then, then you get z equal to a function of x, y. You're getting the function. And now our goal is to take b and using this uh, area. Okay. So taking d for the area. So we are going to take, so 2 minus x minus 2y. I will write this is going to be dy dx. So we are going to take x from 0 to 1. So this is going to be from here. So we slice and using the x like that. And we move, right? So we take the, this one is half x. And this one is negative half x plus 1. And I think the completion is not really um, not really a complicated process. Just take some time, just to integrate a, uh, integrate with respect to y, which means you are getting two y negative x y and then negative y squared, and then plug in the half x and negative half x plus one, and then take another integrations, right? Take another integration from zero to one, and then the x, and then that will be. Um, your answer. And I hope if you are given the question, if the question is only given the plane equation like this, and without the picture, I hope you can try to visualize the picture. Okay? So first, you can just take, if you want to draw the picture, you could take, for example, this x plus 2y plus z equal 2. You can take each one of this variable, taking it to 0. And and see the, how the plane goes, and you will see that it's supposed to be this way, this way, this way. Okay, I believe you can solve this on your own for this part. Okay. And remember, at the end of the computation, you could just take your calculator to, to solve it. Okay. okay. Um, this is some property that might. Um, might be important, some property. So you could take, um, as, as I mentioned, you could, you could uh, separate the integrations. Depends on the area. The, you, could, you could slice the D, becomes D1 and D2. And if it's mentioned in two functions inside, you can separate it as, as it is. And of course, if you have a constant, you can take out the constant. Just, um, I think that would be very obvious. And also for comparison, you can also compare the functions and it will reflect on how the double integrals will be. However, before we continue this part, I think I'm, I want to have uh, some additional notes on uh, whether we can change the order of integrations and how we can change it. Okay, I think I think I missed out that uh, yesterday.
Okay, so let me go back and add uh, one note. Okay, so this will be changing uh, the order of integration. So if you want to evaluate, for example, let me just write the iterative integral x1 sine y squared uh, dy dx. Okay, from the title, this is going to be obvious that we are going to do the changing the order of integrations. But if you see, if we would like to force out our way to solve the inside integral, okay, so sine y squared dy, whenever, whatever method we are going to use, this will be very difficult, right? Because this has y squared here. Okay. Let's say we are going to substitute with, I know the substitution will be, will be related to this one, because if you substitute this y, then we need to substitute also this dy, and then we can solve it in any way. So the best way to see this is we are going to see this endpoints. Okay. So let's check that uh, the endpoints. If we see that this will be from zero to one for x, right, for constant, and for y, this will be from x, y, and then one. Okay. And I think we can draw this, right? We can draw this very, very fast. Easily like that, get the draw the axis, and then see that we have at least y equal x. So let's draw y equal x or x equal y. That that is our um, x or y equal x. We can say that, and we say that we could start from uh, from zero to one for x, but then we have y equal one. So y equal one is here. So let's draw that. So this is y equal 1, right? And this will be the area, right? This will be the area. So this will be 1, 0, OK? So if you see, what we have here is actually we move up from 0 like that. So let's say we start from here. We start from, from here and move up to that point of x equals 1 here, okay? And it's going to be in between this y equals x and y equals 1. And then this is perfectly the same with what we have in the questions, okay? <coughs> okay, so if you want to make it into dx dy, okay? So we are going to, to switch this variable. What we are going to do is, before, the constant is x, okay? Now, if we want to make this into dy, it, it means that we are going to make y as a constant. So y will be 0 to 1, I think. Very clear here, right? So we could see. So what we are going to do is, let me copy this. And face here. Okay. So let's say this is go. We are going to have one. Okay. And let me now. What we want to have is this directions, right? From zero to one. And simply because this is just y equal x for the line, we could just say that x equal y for for the other size, okay? So we could express this for y as a constant like that. And then we could say that this part on the left is x equals zero. So we could write zero, x, and then y, okay? okay. So we could write this,
is equal, let me finish this part, 0, 1, 0, y, sine y squared dx dy. And they are the same. And when you change the integrations, somehow the integral will be easier to solve. Okay? So that will be uh, the change of integration. Okay, so uh, we continue back to um, the, this change of integrations. So the whole point for this change, uh, change the order of integration, is to help us evaluate some of the multiple integrals equations. So for example, this one can be easily solved by this. So uh, let, let's try to solve this first, okay? just to help you review some integration techniques. So uh, integration 0, 1, 0, y, sine. So integrating with the respect to x, we just add x sine y squared, and then we put in 0 and y. And then don't forget the outside still have the integration. Okay, and then uh, this will be a y sine y squared, and then we still have integration like that. And this is a normal integration in calculus one, which you need to master before going through. Okay? If you will maybe not remember how to solve this, you can go back, check your notes how to solve this. But the easy way to solve this is taking the y squared as some other variable, what, what we call sometimes is u or any variable you want to uh, to take as a substitution. And then take the derivatives for both of this u and y. So this will be 2y dy. And then um, dy is half, 1 over 2y du. And then we are going to implement this into our dy. So we are going to exchange all. And then don't forget, if you want to change the whole integration, you need also to change the endpoints. Okay. So endpoints changing when y is equal to 0, u is 0, but this is, I think, the same. So not nothing, nothing wrong. So if you have mistake here, don't really necessarily afflicting the conclusions, right? So this is, I think, I think it should be OK. So integration, so this will be half and then sign of u and then du. We just integrate. Sign becomes, so it, it's become negative because of sign becomes negative cosine, so negative half cosine u and then this will be from 0 to 1. Or if you if you want to, to get rid of this negative, you can write like that. Cosine zero is one. Okay. okay I think we can move on. Okay. So. Uh, so this. So another problem that we could. Uh, we could solve. Okay. So, if we are having an uh, area, maybe we have some curve here, and then we could describe this as area. And if you want to make a volumetric shape from that area, that's for example here, the polyp, and if you just add uh, the plane z equal one here, okay. So then simply we could also take this into our double integrals. So we are taking double integrals with the n points is the d, and the functions just one. Okay. So we could take that into this equation here, which this is going to be the volume, okay. the volume of this shape here. So we could take z as a function of x, y, and this is just equal one. Okay. And what we get is the area. 
actually the area of D that is actually we can also describe in the volume. So the volume is 1 multiplied with A, which is this. Okay, this way, okay, this way, we could describe some other property that is perhaps uh, um, is useful to estimate some integra integrations. Okay, let me go through here. So if we take this, okay, and let's say we are going to, to, to see the surface as this blue colors here. Okay. This is our z, a function of x, y, and then we could describe this z in terms of this two plane. Okay. So the first plane is when z is at equal small m, and the top one is z when equal to the capital M. Okay. So between this, because we know this plane can be easily evaluated using the previous um, approach, then we could take the, the comparison. Okay. So we can compare if the small m and this capital M is on the bottom and the top of our um, surface, it means that when we, when we want to evaluate this um, double integral, okay, we want to evaluate the volume, we want to evaluate the volume, which means that we are going to evaluate, because they, are, they, 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 they all have the same projection on the xy plane, okay. the same area, same area projection. So which means that the volume will be m equal to this uh, uh, multiplied with this a area, and it's also capital M multiplied with this area, and this is going to be in between. The value of this volume will be in between the left and right. Okay. Let me remember that the, from the previous previous one, we get to know that when we have this. This is actually our D or volume is one. So what's the implications? So if for 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 some estimations, for example, um, if we take double integral, and then we take e sine x cosine y dA. This is some integral that is not really um, not really good if we want to force our Algebra inside. Okay. So we have e with power of sine x cos sine y and d. d is a disk with center the origin and radius 2. Okay. So how would we try to um, estimate this. So really the estimations is easy to see from the trigonometric. Okay. As you can see from I think previous sections that when we have trigonometric we have our minimum and maximum value. Right? So we could have maximum and minimum from let's say from sine x. We, we could have negative 1 or 1 and for cosine y we also have the same. So the chances are when we get in together with this two is negative one to one, right? Because that's the only possible way to know the maximum and minimum. So if we take sine x, cosine y. So this is the estimation that we have, right? So we take e, our exponent, taking the into this part. So e with power of negative one. And then taking this as small m, and this is capital M. And our area from this radius. <coughs> so area will be pi 2 squared or 4 pi. So the 
double integral this will be 4 pi over e and this will be 4 pi e just to show you that this this value here is in between these two um, points okay uh, I think we can have some review on what we have done and we can have some exercise so 15.2 um, finish so next week will be 15.3 and perhaps 15.99 like the end but it's actually same it's also related to the first three okay so let's go to check this we have several questions here but i think we could only do two questions from these two parts here so the first part choose one question 20 what 26 okay okay 26 so 26 is this okay so uh, b is enclosed by the quarter circle quarter circle means that that, right? and then y equal this and x should be positive okay so it should be in the first quadrant so the first quadrant so x is the positive and y equals square of 1 minus x squared that is the d I think I'm drawing too small maybe let me write a bit, a bit bigger So this will be D. Okay, D. So this will be Y equals 1 minus X squared. Okay. I think I will just keep from, from X as a constant. So we are going to see this part here. Okay, like that is our perspective. So we are going to take x, y, d, a. This will be 0, 1. And then this will be 0, 2, squared of 1 minus x squared. You will see that later, we could manipulate this and I think probably easier. But that, let's try this one first. So x, y, d, y, d, x. So start from the middle part, from the inside integration. So we have half x y squared and then put in 0 and squared minus 1 minus x squared. But the squared will be will be will be squared, right? Will be removed. So I think not bad. So half x and then put in 1 minus x squared, right? Okay. And then this will be this will be half x minus half x cubed. Okay, I think I will just factor out the half. So we have 0, 1. I think let me move this a little bit to the left. So half and then plug in zero and one. So we have one over four, right? And then one over two, so it will be one over eight. Okay. I think it's quite not really that long because the computation is easy, easy numbers. Later you will know that this can be also convert into polar and we could take the polar integration as well but that will be next week okay, next week next week sections that is about polar coordinates in double integrals okay you could try the other one and i, I think i also want to maybe give you some list of 
for exercise, but my, I think next week I will give you. But you could try this one for now. You could maybe try the other question as well. But for our class, uh, I would like to move to another type of questions. That is evaluate the integral by reversing the order. So it's give you the clue to reverse the order. But if I give you, if I were to give you a question in an exam, sometimes I would not give you this clue. So this is something that you need to be familiar of. Okay. The like example for this number one here, e with power of x squared and then dx. Okay. This is something that we cannot integrate because this is not elementary functions, right? And if you put that in your calculator, you will be get your calculators to be error, f, error, okay. right? You could try, you could try. But if we try to reverse the order, reverse this dx and dy, I think we could solve this, right? But let's check, let's check which one do you want to try? The first one? I think the first one is easy, easy. Which one? 64, two, three, huh? 65? Oh, okay, 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 that's quite good. Okay, so first for 65, let me move right here. So this we sine plus y, y over 2, cosine x, let me write first, 1 plus cosine squared x, is, the question itself is already crazy. <laughs> but what should we do from this part? So first is, we are going to see this endpoint. Okay. So first is taking the um, 0 to 1 is our y. Right, so we could write zero. This is our y, and then for x, start from sine inverse y, and then pi over two. Sine inverse y. What is sine inverse y? So, let me just write here on the notes, additional notes here, that x is sine inverse y. What this is actually about? This is y equals sine x. Right? So we need to draw the sine x actually, but but how we write is we it's it's in, in terms of the the inverse. So so let's try to to get into our um, area that's supposed to be our d. So x is from sine inverse y to pi over two. So this will be zero. Let's say zero. There is zero. This is one or y. And perhaps pi over two is maybe around here. Okay, let's draw the sign. Sign is like that, perhaps. Oh, too much. Maybe right here. Okay. Now, which part is our area? So remember that we are going to, uh, from the sine inverse y to pi over 2, which means that this is the pi over 2 here. And we are going to from, from 0 to 1. So if I draw this, it could be this, or it could be this, right? Or it could be this. So the constant is y, right? Constant is y. So we should start from this size, okay? this this pieces, okay? which which this is going to be the dy. So we start from here, and I think if you take from this part and then take it into into one, we could we could get this part here. Right? This is perfectly from sine the left sine inverse or sine sine x to pi over two, right? Okay. I hope you get my point. So this is going to be our
So this red color that I draw pre in previous sections as well, this is describing your your small delta or the D. Okay, this is going to be the dy. Okay, dy as mentioned here. Okay. This will be going from from sine inverse y. Two x equal pi over two. Okay. Because if I if we using this part of area, there will be some inconsistency for this part for this pi over two. Okay, as I mentioned, that x equals sine inverse y, we could exchange to y equals sine x, and that is perhaps um, our clue. So we are going to change this dx dy becomes dy dx. So I think if you see from what we have, the constant could easily be 0 to 5 over 2 for x, right? We want to x to be so. Now we want to be for x to be our constant, and dy will be the curve, right? So dy for the curve, we are going to start from now. Dx is already here, and now will be the dy. So now we are going to have this become sine x, and what is the other y? This one, right? Okay. So this could be equal to zero pi over two, and this will be zero to sine x, and then cos x. So half part finish, half part finish. Another half is compute the integral. But if you see the integral, it's dy. So we need just to add y, right? Okay, just add y. So add y. Use the other color, so y, and the cosine x. plug in 0 to sine x and then this will be the x right. so sine x we could put the let me put. okay so this will be sine x cosine x And then the x. Now what should we do now? What should we do? See that we have sine and cosine, which they are complement. And if we take substitution, I think we can erase one of them. I think the best way to substitute is because we have this cosine term. Because we have this cosine squared here. Then let's say we try cosine x. So that we can get sine that cancel out another sine. Okay. So take the cosine x as you so we get get du is negative sine x dx. So dx will be negative one over x du. So we could it cancel this, this sine x and add negative. I think I will write here. And then don't forget that we have, this is x, right? So x equals 0, u is equal, cosine 0 is 1. And when x is pi over 2, u is 0. So we are going to start from 1 to 0 for, for u, because the endpoints. So endpoints, this is going to be 1, 0, 
and then I will I will exchange this to the x here. So negative. So I will add negative negative u. Okay, negative u. Then we have another simple problem here. Okay, another substitution. Okay, let's say v. Okay, v is u squared. So the v is two u du. So we are going to have negative half. And since it's just u squared, the same, the same endpoints. This will be two over three. 1 plus v, 3 over 2. And then plug in 1 and 0. Okay, this will be cancelled. So negative 1 over 3. This is uh, 1 minus 2. Or, oh, wait, 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 wait. Should be having the, so 1 minus. 2 squared of 2, right? Or this should be 1 over 3, 2 squared 2 minus 1. Okay, sorry, uh, not really in order. But I think you could check by yourself uh, the process. Okay, so yeah, the integration like this one should be able to do it. Okay. Half plus one, remember? <laughs> but the most, I think the most techniques that you could see from most problems here, is usually about substitutions, U substitutions. But the real problem within the chapter is this one here, changing the dx dy into dy dx. Which means the rest of it, like the computation, it is using the assumptions that you're able to do it. <laughs> so that's why uh, I think reviewing your notes in calculus one, I think if you feel maybe you need some time to, to take review, then please review that chapter. Okay, any questions first? Any questions? For today's class, is it too fast or too much? Or both? Both. Oh, really? Perhaps too much. <laughs> too much because some part of this, like this one here, is half plus one. So that I didn't really mention a lot with the, with the assumption that you already know. <laughs> to solve this, I'm using some equations and another sub to 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 get to the last. But if this somehow appear in your exam, this type of question, would you be able to solve it? I mean the the reverse part, oh, only the reverse part. Yeah. Of course, I think if this is a pioneer exam, it takes time to solve this, right? So perhaps I will try to find not easy, smarter. That is, it doesn't really need take a long time to write, but a long time for think. Can we just try the simple one? <laughs> I, I, I try to find the simple for calculations. Yeah, because as I mentioned, calculus, you need to have concept and fundamental core as a fundamental core, and unfortunately, algebra. Okay, any questions? If not, then I think I will end up until here. So next week, we are going to focus more on the next section, which is the still the double integral but with polar so not in dx dy but we have r and theta